Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 138 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're going to need until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. Woo. Definitely pushed it there in the first set. Woo. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do many push-ups in the next set. But anyway, we have one more set of push-ups. Definitely getting warmed up with these push-ups. Thereafter, we're gonna start with the flies first. Have the dumbbells already set up. Got my gloves on. And We'll go from there. Oh. Oh. Definitely needed this chest exercise. It's been kind of a while. <laughs> Even though yesterday, well, yeah, yesterday I was still feeling a little bit sore in the chest but I need to break that muscle again. Need it so bad, I'm gonna go hard today. Harder than last time. Oof. I did quite a few push-ups there. I'll be lucky if I do half of that now in this second warm-up set. This should be some sort of a short video, not really. Uh, it all depend on how many reps I do with the flies and the uh, regular uh, dumbbell press. With the incline, I know I'm gonna be really tired for that. So, <clears throat> I'm planning on doing the incline with 30 pounds on the dumbbells. That way I don't push myself too, too hard to get... What's, what's what I'm trying to say? It's that way I don't push myself too far out risking injury. Alright, time is up. Here we go again with more push-ups.
All right, let's take our second break. And as the time is ticking, let's bring the bench over here. And get this thing all set up. All right, let's see. We need to put her far out this way. I you know that I don't hit these things as I'm doing the flies. And also not too far out that I hit my weights here. bring you guys a little bit closer because it's easier to look forward from the bench than to the side. <laughs> okay, that should be good there. <sighs> okay, I can turn a little bit this way. And still be good. Here we go. I need someone to play with a camera while I'm working out. Because I need to hire a cameraman or a woman. All right. Warm up sets are completed. Go is to do some dumbbell press flies, get the muscles stimulated to grow, break them down so they can heal. It takes so long for muscle to be built we all want to be the exception to just do the bare minimum and grow massively <laughs> doesn't work that way oh, I need to get the left one first all right time is up here we go Let's take a break, which is third break of the evening. That was a good one. I felt every single rep there for some reason, probably because I'm tired <laughs> from work. Work this morning and came right over here. Well, not right over here hang out with the girls for a little bit first and now I'm here so also you notice I'm not wearing long sleeves <laughs> I'm still wearing pants 
uh, but not wearing long sleeves. <sighs> it's not too cold out here today. Not too cold, the sweatshirt is actually right there. <laughs> I was like, eh, I don't think I need this sweatshirt. It's kind of uncomfortable working out with the sweatshirt. At least for me it is. I know a lot of guys do most of their workouts with a sweatshirt on. Uh, nah, for some reason that's still uncomfortable for me wearing too much layer, too many layers. It works. I mean, gets you warmed up quicker. But I'd rather just do it without a sweatshirt anyway. All right, time is ticking. And we're gonna go with a second set of flies. It's three more sets to go. I, in, that part, in that last one, I felt every single rep. I don't know if it's because of the push-ups I did at the beginning. First set was the failure, which is, I think, I'm not sure, but I think that's the, the max amount of push-ups I've done. I'm not sure. Not keeping track. I don't know if you are, but I'm not <laughs> keeping track of how many push-ups I do. But more than 30 is definitely actually more than five. It's a lot. I came a long way. I don't think I was able to do 10. Maybe a little past 10, not too many past 10. At the beginning of this journey. And now I'm up to 40. Uh, Pull-ups, I started with three. I still struggle with the pull-ups. I think my max amount of pull-ups is 16. And it is a struggle. Anyway, time is up. Here you go with the next set of dumbbell flies. All right, so I fell on that second set. I was kind of borderline of either try it again, one or two more uh, reps, or just leave it there. And I just left it there. <laughs> I wasn't sure if, if I would have kept going. Uh, I don't know if I was gonna hurt my shoulder or not, but I decided to left it there where I was. I'm sure I could have do a couple more, maybe one or two more reps, maybe. <sighs> Definitely feeling in the, in the pecs, this exercise, every single rep. Uh, a little bit, I don't know why my triceps, uh, Oh, well, I did triceps yesterday. <laughs> Maybe that explains things. But I felt a little bit of my triceps as I was doing the exercise. Maybe as I was grasping the weight. Yeah. But definitely felt the exercise. It's working for sure. It's going to be a while until I add weight to the flies which I'm still comfortable with. I don't have a problem with keeping the weight as it is. As long as I uh, 
feel comfortable with the weight. It's not too much and it's not too little. Should be okay. All right, that was the second set. Two more sets of that. Um, then we will add 20 pounds to each dumbbell. And then we'll do uh, dumbbell press. Flat. That's the plan anyway. I worked all morning outside and I'm still a little tired from last night. Whew. I mean, not from last night, from this morning. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Uh, still a little tired, maybe a bit dehydrated. But I've, I've spent the past two hours drinking water. Um, I think at this point I'm just playing catch up. Um, I think since I'm already dehydrated, I, I should have just gotten a Gatorade or a Powerade or one of them uh, drinks that re re rehydrates you. Oof. Electrolytes beverage. Time is up. Here we go. We still have one more set of the flies. Definitely feeling every single rep. <sighs> Remember just yesterday I was talking about <laughs> not gaining much volume. I do feel like it's growing. Maybe just as I'm working out, but after I work out, I don't see it much the growth nor feel it but again I see myself every single day so I'm not seeing the results yet so I will compare picture of day 121 with day 151 and then we'll see how it goes it's a bit of a gap there that's 30 days that's a whole month Still on a deficit of calories. Still doing cardio. I'm not gonna say every day. Like when I first got the bike, <laughs> I was on it every single day for over an hour every day and I was kind of going crazy on it. <laughs> uh, now I kind of pacing myself. Going somewhere between 20 and an hour. 20 minutes in an hour. Uh, sometimes uh, I'm just gonna go on for, for 20 minutes and I end up doing 30 and so on. Start with 30 and end up doing an hour. I guess it all depends on how entertained I am on my bike ride. As you saw yesterday, yesterday, not yesterday, two days ago, uh, I was on the bike. I have my phone in front of me, just playing videos, and just pedaling, you know, 
just being distracted and entertaining myself as I was on the bike. But yeah, I can go for, for over an hour. My longest time on the bike was 73 minutes, which is an hour and 13 minutes. For those of you that didn't get math in school or just went, but somebody else did your homework. <laughs> uh, 73 minutes. I think that's the longest I've been on the bike. Average speed of 14.5 miles an hour. And heart rate was pretty good too. However, that was a little while ago. And before I hurt my hamstrings, which I kind of attributed to the bicycle. But anyway, time is up. Here we go with the last set of this uh, dumbbell flies. Here we go. Well, that was a good set. Even though I, my form was a little bit shaky there for a second. Oh. All right, time is ticking. And as it goes, we're gonna load these puppies with some weight. Sorry about all my weird noises. <laughs> and the dumbbells are gonna look a little awkward. However, they still will weight the same. Balance will be different. But that's not a big concern for me right now. Still over a minute to go on our break. Let's reset this the right way. There we go. <laughs> Not missing a second there. Loaded the dumbbells with the 10 pounders at the end to have more of a surface for whenever I bring the dumbbells to my legs. Hopefully, my bruising on my legs will be minimized or reduced to at least half. Because <laughs> those things are uncomfortable. It's at this point when I wish I had actual dumbbells. Oof. But anyway, time is ticking and 
time is almost up. I'm gonna go with four sets of the flat dumbbell press. And then we'll go incline. Ah oh, man, this thing is uncomfortable. All right, time is up, here we go. Take a break. <sighs> ah. That particular set, I was kind of losing strength on my right arm. The last thing I want is that dumbbell to come off my arm and hit me in the face. For the next set, I need to be a little more prepared for the exercise. Dumbbells feel heavy. I don't know if it's because of the setup or what, but they are heavy. Probably because I'm tired and hungry. Ah. <laughs> uh. Talking about hungry, I did not end up going over my calories yesterday. Even though I did go for a bike ride. <sighs> Had my protein shake and that. That was pretty good. Didn't, wasn't really hungry after that. Went for my bike ride and had some popcorn <laughs> to watch a movie with the fiance and I mean had a had plan to eat popcorn while watching a movie just had a few popcorns but not what I thought I was gonna have <laughs> a whole bag so it was pretty good so I was under 200 and some calories for the day yesterday which is pretty good, even though my deficit is around 500 calories. Yesterday made it 700. Uh, hopefully not too much, but it was a good day. Today was a good day too. I'm on track with my calories. I'm gonna make it to uh, close to 1500. I believe. <laughs> And then at some point I'm gonna go to bed. All right, time is up, sort of. Let's get ready. All right, with our second set. And here we go. Take another break. Looks like I'm getting tired. <laughs> Psychologically, I was ready for it. 
but my muscles were like nope <laughs> can't push that thing anymore you gotta give me a break so that's what we're doing here we'll take another break Let it rest. Um, I don't think I want to take weight off of it just yet. Since I'm passing five, six, I think I made it to eight, eight reps there. I would like to go for a little more, but eight is pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take 10 pounds off of the dumbbells. I'll make it 30 pounds, but I'll take them off whenever I do the incline. Whenever I do the incline, dumbbell press, I'll do them with 30. Because my chest is already worked up. Uh, want to continue as it is keep pushing it this is the the safest type of exercise that i can do for my chest right now so i'll keep it there and then take it off for the incline since it's a little bit riskier still working out the packs just a little more the upper packs i don't think i need much work on the upper packs but let's get it done right Whew. hitting all angles all right so it's the last set i believe this is the last set of this <laughs> uh dumbbell press and then we'll go over with the incline All right, just a few more seconds. So I have a sip. I always do this like when the timer is almost up. I don't know why I do that, but. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> well, that's definitely it for the flat dumbbell press. All right. Now let's incline. Just a little bit. Remember, it's not shoulder press. It's slightly inclined press. And let's take weight off because my ego is outside playing in the snow. So I said, I'm gonna take 10 pounds total off. So it's gonna be five and a 10 on one side, five and a 10 on the other.
Okay. Dumbbell number one is done. Oh, time is flying. And hopefully the microphone survives. I mean, the receiver is almost dead. I don't know why I'm taking so long to take the weight off of these dumbbells. But it is taking me a long time. <laughs> Just a few more seconds. All right. Time is almost up. And I need to hang this mic just there. And let's go for it. Let's just lower this a little bit. You guys are really up there. There we go. All right, good. Now I don't feel like I'm talking to my dad. Oof. Yeah, pretty much eye level with me. And here we go. That was a good set for sure. Felt every single rep, including the very last one. I almost put the weight down on the on that rep before the last one. And I had to constantly try for one more. Even though I took weight off, still heavy. My muscles can definitely feel the fatigue and the exercise. Oh, talking about exercise time, are still good. And this is the last exercise of the day. Three more sets to go, and we're out of here. <laughs> Whew. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my hair. I'm gonna need a haircut one of these days. <laughs> uh. <sighs> all right, all right. Time is still ticking. I'm gonna go for, I can see my triceps. Interesting. <laughs> I guess it's working. <laughs> I guess I'm working out. Do I even lift, bro? No, I don't. I come to the shed and lift things up and put them down. That's about it. Ouch. All right. So this is what's gonna happen. Uh, three more sets, 
I'm gonna keep the weight as it is. I'm gonna push it to the very end like that. And all the sets have been to failure-ish. Uh, there's gonna be a week or two that I'm going to do the sets uh, with less weight. Maybe a week, not two. A week or two. We'll figure that out once we get there. Uh, but it's gonna be at some point. I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon. I'm still getting a good, a decent pump. <laughs> As it is. I think I'm building a little bit. I guess I have to wait until day 151 and see the pictures compare day 151 to 121 and see if there's an actual size difference. Not so much looking into fat reduction results, more so into muscle mass results. At least that's what I'm gonna be looking into. Anyway. Time is up. Here we go with the second set. Taking a break. Whew. I'm pushing to a higher rep count on the set. But once the body says, that's it, <laughs> that's it. On the very last rep, I knew that was the last one. but I had to try to do at least one more negative. <laughs> so I brought it down slowly <laughs> and kind of try attempt to pull it, push it up. But I was like, yep, that's it. <laughs> Just to confirm <laughs> that that was all I had. That was all I had. Two more sets to go. When I call it a day. Woof. So as I was saying, on day 151, uh, I believe I'm still losing fat. The point is going to be if I'm also losing muscle. If I'm not losing muscle because I don't have much to lose anyway. Uh, it's more like if I'm losing or potentially losing on muscle mass by being on a calorie deficit or my calorie deficit is too high. We'll see. It's just under 20 days. Huh. Tomorrow is today's 138. So 12 days. 12, 13 days until then. Oh yeah, it's not too far. I thought it was farted out. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. And my brother is coming back from the Dominican Republic. He was impressed by my progress. He's been watching my videos. He's like, oh my God, you've been losing a lot of fat. Lots of weight. I'm like, yeah, it's working out, and I keep keep working out every single day, every single day, every single day, no exceptions. I've been very tempted to skip days. I've been extremely tempted to 
uh, not even come on here for whatever reason. It's too cold, I'm too tired, I'm too sore, have a headache. I'll have, to, I'll have to go to work tonight or tomorrow. Have to go places. Have to take care of the baby. Baby tornado. I'm going on a date. All kinds of excuses and reasons. But I have priorities too. This is a priority to me. All right, time is up. Here we go with the first set on this exercise. Last break of the day. Definitely pushing myself on that. Wow. This is. And rep count went down too. I think I pushed 10 there. So I'll be lucky if I make it to eight reps on the very last set. So <clears throat> we'll see the pictures on day 151. As I said, I see myself every day in the mirror. I don't see the difference <laughs> between yesterday and today or a week ago and today. Uh, but with the pictures, we'll all definitely be able to tell. Uh, but I will have to take a break from all these failure exercises. I'll have to take at least a week, you know, say a week or two, just to recover. I'll still be doing a lot of reps. Probably the rep count will go up. Not probably, it will definitely go up <laughs> substantially. And we'll see, I'll probably be uh, more vascular then because I'll be burning, uh, not burning more calories, but I'll be doing more reps. Well, technically, yeah, burning more calories, but the calories on the Lifting exercises, very minimum. So you don't, you can't really count on that for, for like a deficit or counting calories burned. All right, just a few more seconds on our very last break of the day. I know the audio kind of turned, kind of awkward. I just turned up the heater. It was driving me nuts at this point. <laughs> and it's anyways the end of the exercise all I'm gonna do is leave this place close the door and come back tomorrow for some more all right just a few more seconds Feeling it. All right, and here we go.
Definitely felt that one. Anyway, that's definitely it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.